Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. This is the kind of video that I really hold near and dear to my own heart. This is some footage from my time living in Vietnam. And actually at the same moment as this, there's gonna be another video going live on my wandering motion travel channel, detailing some of my experiences in Hong Kong. And as you can tell by the title of this video, it's a strange topic looking at some counterfeit Lego toys in Vietnam. And before we get started today, I do wanna state I don't condone buying fake Lego toys. They are illegal, but I wanna just showcase them today. I'm trying to clear out my hard drive and I've always wanted to show you guys all of these weird products in some kind of light so I thought I'd get it out today and uh, again I don't condone buying fake Lego toys but some of these oh man they are so interesting. You join us today in Vietnam this is close to Da Nang of the Hai Van Pass. This is one of the most exceptional motorcycle rides in the world. We used to do it so much when we lived in Vietnam and it's about halfway between the southernmost city Ho Chi Minh and the capital Hanoi in the north. Well, there's kind of two capitals it's a long story, but yeah, let's just look at this scenery man like riding through this on a motorcycle was some of my favorite moments in Vietnam And I get emotional even editing together this kind of footage because it means so much to me We're heading to Hanoi Vietnam for some fake Lego hunting. <laughs> there we are uh, This was taken about four years ago and man, I, I've changed a lot in that time. It's very endearing Yeah, we the actual audio from this is quite bad uh, the camera microphone was shocking quality for the majority of this trip, but uh, I'll let you decide for yourself. I don't know anything about Lego, so I'm gonna let Simon take this one. Yeah, se seasoned uh, veteran builder. Let's go. Let's go check out the supply. I could barely even grow any facial hair back then. Goodness me. <laughs> Uh, so look at all this stuff. First of all, you'll see uh, it's pretty much piece for piece replicas, but always with really strange names, which I always found quite funny. Like if you're gonna literally replicate it and copy it, why not just call it Star Wars? But no, Star Plan, you can see over there. There are some hilarious names. These kind of stores are everywhere and they are so packed to the brim with fake Lego and fake toys in general. You can barely even walk through. Like usually you have to shuffle past someone, you're knocking things over. Space Wars, look at that. We bought that for uh, one of my friends mother's actually she collects Lego I mean just look at the absolute size of these things by square footage very small but the amount that they put in them is amazing and I just miss Vietnam every day it's such a wild bustling loud and vibrant place but there's always so much stimulation which can be quite good and bad at times but we were driving around the city searching between all these different vendors sometimes they're packed together in little sort of streets full of like 20 of them sometimes separate this is a uh, thought Odinson, but uh, it looks weird. It's kind of like, kind of like Batman, maybe. A transformable four. So yeah, the bootlegs definitely reign supreme here. And if you guys enjoy these kind of videos, I would love to make more. That Batman is terrifying. They have a lot of stuffed animal stores as well. I never really know what is fake and what isn't. Obviously with the Lego look, that's called Super Escort. <laughs> like why? Bat Leader, Space Wars, ugh. Superheroes, they always had these like mystery boxes where you bought like random little selections of Marvel DC characters, usually fighting together because they don't care about IPs over here. Uh, yeah, all the big sets would be replicated. All the massive like releases in Lego and some other products as well. I found a few Mega Constructs Call of Duty, but never Halo, unfortunately. I don't say unfortunately, I don't want fake to be out there, but I kind of wanted to find one at some point. Again, do not condone this stuff. I just think it's pretty educational to show you what it's kind of like in these Asian countries selling fake Lego. You've also got to remember like the salaries in Asia are sometimes considerably lower, but they scale correctly because the cost of living is so low, but they can't really afford really expensive Lego. So this is kind of the only way they can afford to buy these really iconic builds for their kids. Star plan. <laughs> Star plan. Uh, I absolutely love it. Super Escort again. Yeah, there's another one then. Ghostbusters. We got Burlards <laughs> and Lepin. Lepin's a classic. Star Plan again. <laughs> I just, I love watching over these. The Ring of the Sorcery. Like, what? Pirates of the Grey Mirror. <laughs> Super Escort back again. Oh, so funny. And from my experience, they usually had all the pieces there. Transformable Thomas. <laughs> oh 
Obviously, the pieces themselves would be much lower quality, particularly the action figures. They just would not hold up to LEGO standards. But still, they were uh, really cheap. Like, you're talking for most of these, um, less than $100 for sure. And 10,000 dong of the Vietnamese currency is equivalent to like 50 cents in America. So money goes quite far. We, The time we were living there, we were actually classified as millionaires because we were literally withdrawing like $500,000 notes. It was pretty, pretty cool. And yeah, a lot of this other stuff, I can't comment whether or not it's fake. A lot of it did look really official, but they are really good at replicating these things piece for piece. And of course, you can't go anywhere without Funkos. They just, they, they never escape you. My friend's mother picked up a few fake sets. I don't have any interest in buying any myself. I didn't even back then. I'm a bit of a purist, like I should only support the actual official company. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed this kind of video. I love putting these together more than any other, really, because they're super nostalgic to me, and I have so many hundreds of hours of footage from Asia that I want to share with you all, and it's trying to find the right format to do so. And like I said, I have a similar video to this going live on my travel channel, Wandering Motion, right now. Link in the description and the comments of this video and I hope to see you in the next video. As always, you stay awesome, you stay safe. Domain, signing off.